How's it going everybody? I'm gonna just make this quick video for you. So first of all, if you search for this video, you're wondering, can I get a heads up display for poker on Ignition? The answer is absolutely yes. Uh, there are a few things you should know though. So first, first thing is that a heads up display will not work for zone poker. That's fast fold poker because you're constantly getting uh, new players and it's all anonymous. Um, that should be uh, self-evident, but in case it's not, no, you cannot use a heads up display on zone poker, but what you can do is you can use a heads up display on uh, regular cash games. So you'd have to scroll to a different part of the ignition client and you go to cash games instead of zone poker, which is, I believe is the default. And then the other thing is that you can have a uh, multi-table tool. Uh, so this isn't exactly a heads up display, but it will make your playing experience a lot better in my opinion. And it's called Jurogen. I'll explain that more in the video. But Jurogen is gonna allow you to uh, reformat the sizing of um, the poker tables so it fits easier on your screen, as well as it also lets you change um, change it from dollar amount to big blinds, which I find to be quite convenient. And it also has a few other features. I don't really wanna go into them because I'm trying to keep this video short, but uh, I just wanna give you a heads up for what is coming in this uh, next quick video. If this video helps you, I'd appreciate a like really quick. Now let's get into it. Okay, so in this part of the video, I want to show you that a heads up display will work. I'm just using regular poker tracker. It is worth noting you may have to change your settings. Um, mine's currently picking up, but you might need to play with the configuration in order to make sure you can pick up from ignition. However, it is, you know, the point of this is to show you that once again, um, we can absolutely track hands with poker tracker on ignition, no problem. And the reason this is possible is because we are not playing zone poker, we're playing regular cash game poker. So um, all of these opponents are staying here, which means we can track their uh, hand history. Of course, they don't have any sort of ID that we can keep track of, so we're not going to be able to track them after they leave this game. But while everyone is seated here, um, we can definitely gain information, and that's exactly what Poker Tracker is going to do. So... Um, you can see, you know, we've played 11, 11 hands here. The next hand, it's going to go up. This is live. I'm not, I have no reason to make this up. Um, it's also worth noting that if you do want to pick up Poker Tracker and you don't currently have a heads up display that you're using, um, I do have a link below if you wanted to support the channel and grab it from that link. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you Jurogen. So, so we're going to see two major differences. One is going to be that we're going to change from dollars into big blinds, which we cannot currently do within Ignition. And it's also going to change the formatting, the uh, maybe resolution is the right word, but just change the way that um, the screen is presented. So I'm going to pull up two screens and show you how uh, convenient that is. So what I've done is I've opened up Jurogen and I'm going to open up another table um, from Ignition here. And what Jurogen is going to do is automatically format it so that um, these fit easily on my screen. And as you can see, we are now in big blinds as opposed to dollars. And of course, this is something that I prefer. Uh, that's why I'm talking about it. But you can turn it off if that's not something you prefer. Um, you definitely have the option to just leave it and just utilize what you want out of Jurogen. But once again, um, these are the things that I prefer. Just using um, big blinds instead of dollars and using um, the screen uh, kind of formatting here. And also another convenient thing about Jurogen is that if you are playing multiple tables, let's say you're playing some on America's Card Room, some, some on Ignition or something like that, it can account for the fact that you're playing on multiple sites. It'll pick up all of the screens and it will format them however you want. And in order to do that, you want to change, um, I'll just show you really fast. I'm not going to do it live, but you want to go to this screen in Jurogen and edit your layout. Um, so you want to do that. You can edit your layout. Then also within Jurogen, you're gonna have the ability to, I think it's, I think it's this one. Yeah, so you can you can change your bet buttons over here. Um, so you know this is the, I don't, I don't know what you choose, you know the two squares on top of each other. I don't know how you describe that, but you can change um, all sorts of things. You can activate RNG. I personally don't really use RNG, but you can have pot odds, stack to pot ratio, all sorts of very um, nice things that Jurogen offers here.